In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four colorful options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the step one. You can see here, I have added kind of this a folded paper design here. You can add the icon, the title, the detail text. And if you, can, if you want, you can add some more details here. And then I've added some shadow effect. When I click, it will show me with a different color combination, the second step, the third step and the four steps and i have added two more slides where i have added only this is one option two option and three options only or you can use it as one single color uh, slide also please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any light gray color background then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle rounded corner draw or rectangle rounded corner depending on the requirement how much height and width you need so i'm going to keep this one and you can see the small orange point just drag this outside a little bit i need a very little curved on the edges and then shape outline i'm going to make it as a white color and then i'm going to fill this color with a gradient for that right mouse click go to the format shape under the fill i'm going to select the gradient fill by default there are four stops i'm going to delete two stops so for one stop i'm going to choose maybe some light blue color and the other stop i'm going to make it some dark color and the direction i'm going to make it the linear right so it looks something like this you can see here linear right and then i'm going to add one more shape here select this one press ctrl d to duplicate shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to make this as white and before that one make sure this is align center align middle and here also i'm going to make it align center align middle and then i'm going to reduce the size from the bottom you can see here i can make it a reduced size and then i can reduce the size a little bit from top left and right so hold the alt key and just reduce a little bit from the left a little bit from the right and a little bit from the top and make sure that select both of these and make sure that it is align center so once this is done i'm going to insert one more shape uh, the oval shape here draw the oval shape by holding the shift key maybe this much size is enough i'm going to keep it here shape outline i'm going to make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white color and i'm going to give a shadow effect for this one so select the go to the select the options go to the effects under the shadows presets i'm going to select the offset bottom you can see here like this and i'm going to add one more oval shape all right this time a little bit smaller oval shape compared to the white one shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to choose this color here inside this one so i'm going to choose this object go to the home tab from the format pointer click on the format pointer and click on this one so you can see here we got this one and make sure that shape outline is no outline all right so now again to make sure that it is properly aligned i'm going to select both the oval shape go to the shape format align center align middle the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to cut a little bit uh, part from this blue oval shape for that go to insert shape select one rectangle draw one rectangle i'll make it somewhat transparent shape outline make it no outline and i'll tilt it a little bit and this part you can see here let me just zoom in this part i'm going to cut this one okay the one which is highlighted so let me just select this shape hold the shift key select this one more shape i'm going to make it a fragment then i don't need this much this particular object delete this one you can see here this particular object i can make it a solid fill with a dark blue color only all right now i'm going to rotate this one you can see here i can just rotate it flip vertical horizontal wherever you want okay you can see here i can just rotate it and it went inside actually and make sure to bring to front and put it here all right you can see here 
and then let me just zoom in a little bit and make sure that it is properly aligned okay and once this is done i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to give as a black color increase the transparency a little bit and go to the effects under the soft edges increase the size here just to give a shadow effect here and then send this to back so you can see here i've added one shadow effect again if you want you can increase the size also and you can just put more shadow effect here something like this all right so once this is done i'm going to select these three these objects only the oval shape and this one and press ctrl g to group it all right the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add some details so go to insert text box here i'm going to say step center align open sans i'm going to choose a white font i'm going to keep it here maybe i can just reduce the size i'll say semi bold any font you can choose of your choice and press ctrl d to duplicate and here i'm saying step 01 this one i'm going to make it or uh, uh, extra bold and increase the size maybe 24 and you can see here and make sure that this is properly aligned all right so step one zero one here the next thing which you can do is we can just go to insert icons and you can add some icons here so i'm going to use some random icons but in your case you have to choose a specific icon okay let me just use uh, maybe this alarm clock and click insert i'm going to put it here again this color maybe you can make it a gray and then go to insert text box i'm going to type title for zero one okay and i'm going to give maybe a blue color center line open science extra bold if you want and then add some detailed text equals l-o-r-e-m within brackets one and i don't want this much large text i'm going to delete this the unwanted text center align i'm going to give some gray color reduce the font size and put it here all right again if you want to add some more information you can add it here also i'm going to insert shape select one small rectangle all right put one rectangle again in the center shape outline i'm going to make this white shape fill i'm going to make it no fill and here also you can add some information all right so you can see here i have completed this design and then you can add some shadow effect go to insert shapes I'm going to select this rounded corner again and here shape outline make it no outline shape fill I'm going to fill this with black increase the transparency go to the effects under the soft edges increase the size so I, I created this you can see here the shadow effect and once this is done I'm going to select these shapes without the oval shape or first of all let me just do one thing I'll group this one Control G and then i'm going to select this shape and i'm going to group it so it came front so and i will just send this to back so this is my slide i mean option one i'm going to put it here hold the control shift key this is my second option this is my third option again if you want you can add one more option so let me just put it three options only sorry and i'm going to align it in the center so this is my first option this is my second option and this is my third option so here simply i can select this one and change the color whichever color you want i need yellow with orange color combination you can see here if you want you can make it more darker here also i'm going to go ahead with the same color combination a light yellow with dark orange and increase it likewise you can just change the color combination for this also let me just change this one maybe i can give some light green and dark green color combination all right you can see here and here also 
I'm going to do the same thing lighter green and the dark green and for here also you have to make it a darker green more darker green actually okay and here also I'm going to make this as an orange and so the step one step two step three and then you can change the icons and then you can add simple animations for example I can just go to the animations enable the animation pane I'm going to select this one add animation more entrance effects I'm going to choose a basic zoom click OK and this one add animation more entrance effects I'm going to select stretch click OK and stretch from top and this should happen after previous or without with previous also so if I play it comes like this or maybe I can just make this as after previous so if I play it comes like this so now I'm going to use the animation painter click on the second option select this one okay animation painter click it here then again here and here so if I play the first option second option and the third option